Right now, demolition crews are tearing down the iconic NASA Building 4200. It was the administration building occupied first by Warner Von Braun and his team at Marshall Space Flight Center on Redstone in Huntsville. Way 31's Matt Kroschel checking in from Gate 9 at the Redstone Arsenal for us this afternoon. And Matt, that 11-story office building housed the central laboratory and administrative space until just recently. Marie, truly the heartbeat of the Marshall Space Flight Center since its completion back in 1963. That 11-story curtain wall structure housed every Marshall Center director, including its first, Dr. Warner Von Braun. The recent structural issues and major costs to remodel the building forced NASA to make the decision to decommission it earlier than expected. NASA archives show the day they broke ground. Von Braun was there. In 1974, the building hit hard by a tornado, suffered damage, and then in early 2000s, it went through a major remodel and addition. And as they say, if those walls could talk. Not really happy <laughs> that uh, it's going to be torn down, but I understand that things have to go. Uh, I, I was on the ninth floor, so I was around the corner from Dr. Von Brown's uh, office. Uh, I was not up there when he was there, uh, but uh, it had, there's a lot of history. Uh, a lot of uh, famous people have been in that building that helped create the space program uh, from Apollo all the way through the International Space Station uh, and now Artemis. A storied history for sure. The uh, folks over at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center still doing a really nice job of telling visitors to our area about that rich history, including everything that happened inside Building 4200. I spoke with NASA officials today. They say that uh, all of the construction and the deconstruction over there, the demolition work, is expected to be wrapped up by next year. And while they don't have any concrete plans for that site, they say they would like to build green whatever they end up putting there and allowing the next generation of NASA engineers, other workers, to enjoy the views out there and uh, also to enjoy all of the work that's being done here in Huntsville. Reporting live, Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News. All right, thank you, Matt. And he will join us back with more of the history of this building for you during our 6 p.m. newscast. And right now you can view more historical NASA photos on WayTV.com. Just click on this story.